Hi guys, Brennan Clinch, Solutions Architect for the Aruba team here at Cinex, and just wanted to come in today to show you how quick and easy it is to set up an Aruba Instant Network. This is super simple. I'm going to do this in under a minute. Now, I'm not going to do all the security guide setup. I'm not going to do user registration or any of that. I'm just going to set up like an employee wireless network with most of the default settings intact, and we'll talk just briefly about what I'm doing in each of them. But again, I'm going to try and do it in under a minute just so you can see how quickly you can actually do this. So first thing to know, I'm going to go ahead and get my browser window pulled up. Right now I'm at the main uh, login screen for Aruba Instant. Now you will get this screen as soon as your AP has been plugged in, has network connectivity via an uplink, and it's powered. And once you see the little radio lights come on, the 5 gigahertz band and the 2.4 gigahertz band, go on up here to your wireless network. So I'm on a Mac right now. Obviously it would be a little different if I was on a if I was on a Windows machine. Um, but basically, as, as I see here, um, I'm connected to Aruba Instant Demo, but what you would see would be a little one called Instant over here on the right. And you would click on that, um, and then you would go to this website up here, instant.arubanetworks.com, and uh, you'll just log in with the default credentials of admin, admin, and like I said, this is all the same steps you would normally take, except we're, we're connected to one that I've already created. But it, this would say instant, and basically over here we would just go ahead and start to create our new network. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and start this on, on, a, on a timer just to show you exactly how quickly this can be done. No specializations, no customizations, I'll show you how you can do that. Um, you even talk about that and I'll still get it done in under a minute. This is super simple. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Ready? So I'm going to go ahead and click new. I'm going to call this uh, instant setup. I'm going to leave it as an employee network. Just to show you, you can do advanced options right here. Obviously, a lot more available to you, but we're just going to do the basic things that need to get us up and running on a wireless network. I'm going to go ahead and leave the client uh, IP assignment via the network because we're going to assume this AP is plugged into a switch that has network and DHCP connectivity and also will uh, assign the VLANs by the default. Um, I'll put the password as being instant one two three four instant one two three four and uh, this is going to be personal WPA2 personal authentication we will have unrestricted access and there we go we are done and you'll see it pop up right here in the left as it loads and sure enough there we are instant setup um, now again, this is an employee network, right? So this doesn't have any sort of registration. This is this is assuming we can get in here, and we can pop in and do, um, you know, things like security, firewall settings, and if we want to go into the advanced options, set up the actual RF environment, and, you know, determine the data rates, determine the intervals, things like that. You can also do that here. So just as a bonus, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, guest network as well set up. And I'm basically going to do it where I create the user, uh, the username and password for somebody. This is going to be like a lot of coffee shops you run into where they have specific username and passwords for people. Not just open, you know, this lets, the, lets you control who's on and for how long, things like that. Um, but it's just as quick and easy. I'll go ahead and show you just how easy that is. Um, I'm going to do new. going to say instant guest click guest, go ahead and click next. I'll leave this on the guest network to be virtual controller managed. Um, the IP assignment gives us a private IP. There's there's a lot more reasons for that, but we'll, we'll get into that in another video. We'll leave the client uh, VLAN assignment as default. Um, I'm going to do internal authenticated, but there is options to do internal acknowledged um, or external. If we have an authentication server, we can do social login with Facebook. Um, then here we're going to choose our new auth server being as the internal server on the users here. I'm going to say username Robert and password is James with capital J, James with a capital J, and we will say add and there's Robert James, click OK. And at this point we'll do, once that's created, we will go ahead and finish with unrestricted access and we'll see that instant guest pops up here on the left and once it is what we're going to do, I'm going to wait for it to show up um, and once it's shown up I'm going to go ahead and connect to it up on my wireless network and as you can see it's an, it's an open network but we still required authentication right um, so what we're going to do real quick as you can see I've got full connectivity to instant guest and I'm going to go to 
And when I'm here, you see I still get a captive portal, right? I can, it says welcome to guest network. Now I can customize that. I didn't do any of that when I was in there just because again, we we're trying to do it quickly. But this is not a bad little default screen setup, right? This is, a, this is a basic guest network again, quick in, quick out, we can do that, okay. So I'm gonna say Robert for my username and then James with a capital J for my password. I'm gonna agree to the terms and conditions and sure enough, here I am at Aruba's website. So as you can see, getting an instant network set up, whether that's employee-based or guest-based, is really quick and simple if you just need something up and running very quickly. Obviously, we can dive deeper into, into both of those things, into what each element within those is, is made up of and what it affects and how much you can control, which is everything. This is an enterprise-grade software that's free uh, with the instant APs that comes built in. So just so you know, again, quick and easy, but fully customizable beyond this. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do this and how easy Aruba's made it for you to set up your own employee network or guest network um, as quickly as possible in any given scenario that you just need to get up and running right away. So anyway, that's all for today. Brennan Clench here again, Solutions Architect. Feel free to email me. If you have any questions at all, my email address is Brennan K. That's B-R-E-N-N-A-N, the letter K, at Synex.com. And if you just have more questions about Aruba, you want to know Synex's place in all this, um, go ahead and email us at Aruba at Synex.com. Until next time, see you. Have a great day.